Hey, how's it going? This is Concrete from ConcreteMixing.com, and today I'm here with another tutorial on submixing. Now, what is submixing? Submixing is taking Multiple channels like we have right here and send it a signal to a auxiliary and which we named it submix. Our submix is going to be for our hook today. So I'm going to play what we have and we're going to go through the steps to get it where we need it to be. I've been on my grind and now it's my time. 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 I don't need no if it ain't about mine. As you can see that we have multiple vocals here for the hook and it sounds it doesn't sound like it's mixed. Now when you have sub mixing, you don't have to waste your time putting plugins on every single channel. That, that's here. So we're going to look at our hook right here and we're going to scroll up. Only plugin we have on these tracks are the trim. And the trim, which is basically used to increase or decrease our signal. Instead of using the faders for this mix, trim was used. And which, that's how consoles are actually used. We have the trim knob to attenuate or gain the signal. So moving on. All we have is the trim and the pins, so that way we could get a good level. Now, if I was to take off these trims, all the sounds would be out of whack and everything would sound all over the place and mesh together and out of control. So for tutorial's sake, I have the trim on there so people can hear what's going on the correct way without it being noisy in your ears. So we're going to take our first part of the hook what are the lead vocals and the uh um background vocals the doubles we're going to take them without having these two okay and we're going to submix it to our first track right here which is submix one and which it says hook so we're going to take our outs and we're going to put it on the bus, which is our auxiliary, and where it say hook at. So we're going to scroll until we see hook, which is right here. So you see how all of my outs became the title hook. So our signal is going out of the channel and into the submix channel. So all of our signals should come out of this channel alone. So let's give it a play. I've been on my grind and now it's my time. time. Only get me to the top. I don't no mind if it ain't about me. So as you can see, all of our beginning part of the hook, all of our all of our doubles and lead vocals is coming out of submix one. So now we got some background vocals. That needs to come out and goes into the submix too. And I see I have made a mistake. I got some background vocals going into submix one. So we're going to change that. And we're going to put it all in submix two, which is titled BGs. So we're going to go and find BGs and we're going to add it in. All right, so now we have our background vocals inside of our submix too, which is our BGs. I have the plugins that was used muted, and we're going to go through it one at a time to hear the differences happen. All right, so we're going to start from the beginning, and we're going to mute this subgroup, which is submix two, which is our backgrounds, so we could solely focus on the lead vocals and the doubles. 
and I'm going to unmute each one so you can hear the difference and how it affects all of the signals at once without having to add multiple plugins to each. There's no more copy and pasting. Oh, you have the EQ here, copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. That could run up a lot of DSP and it makes your mixing time a lot longer. So let's listen and see how these changes take effect. I've been on my grind and now it's my time. Hard work on it, get me to the top. I'm a million on mine if it ain't about mine. I hope you don't think I'm gonna stop. Uh. Cause I've been on it and now I've been on it. See, as we was playing it, you heard it become more clearer, it sounded more defined, it sounded better in the mix. That's what subgrouping can do. So if I was to run it down, basically, all of our channels inside of the subgroup is getting compressed. Every last single thing that's inside of the um, subgroup will all get compressed as once so on and so forth with the C4, which is a multi-band compressor. It will all get multi-band compressed at once. Same with the EQ. Whatever EQ changes I make, it would affect all the tracks that's within the subgroup. And same with this plugin. So, we have Reverb next. Reverb definitely could play a big part in this because it's going to affect the entire sound that's inside of the subgroup. And it's a lot easier than having to add reverb to each and every track that you have and it got the same sound. So why not put it in one group and work it together? So we're gonna go over to our plate and today I'm just gonna use D-verb. And we're just gonna make a random reverb effect and put it in I've been on my grind and now it's my time hard work gonna get me to the top I don't pay no mind if it ain't about mine I hope you don't think I'm gonna stop uh. cause I've been on it and now I'll be on it now you got yeah. your word that I'm coming for the number one spot uh. As you can see, I just needed it to be a little stronger, so I added two. But as you can see, it affected all of the vocals at once. It put it all in one space, such as if you have a church choir. The church choir don't have separate reverbs when they're in the room. They all share the same room, which they share the same reverb. So we did the same thing when we subbed all of these channels into this subgroup, which is an auxiliary. And the same applies for our background vocals. We're going to unmute the background vocals and we're going to hear the um, changes take effect. I've been on my grind and now it's my time. Hard work, gonna get me to the top. I don't pay no mind if it ain't about mine. I hope you don't think I'm gonna stop. Cause I've been on it. Uh. 
and that's how you make it work. And it definitely goes great because of the hook. I'm able to spread the vocals out in the speakers more. This is why I have the imagery here. I use it for the background vocals to kind of push them to the sides. And I will use reverb, a mono reverb, to push the signal a little far away. So that way it sounds like it's background vocals like you have in a church choir. Or when you just have a group of singers and a lead singer stands in front of you know, the group of singers. So the same thing applies. We we have the plate reverb. We would go over to the plate reverb, which is right here, the same as we have, and we will activate that. I'm gonna leave the sentence the same, and we have a mono plate. So we will go over to our mono verb, and we're gonna add reverb to that. We wanna still use D verb. We wanna find a uh, a factory setting, and a good factory setting. Uh, we could go with the large hall for this, just to give it a different feeling, as if it is background vocals. They in the back of the large hall. So we're gonna unmute it as soon as we play it. I've been on my grind and now it's my time. Hard work gonna get me to the top. I don't pay no mind if it ain't about mine. I hope you don't think I'm gonna stop. Uh. So, for tutorial purpose, we're going to A, B, just to hear the differences, and we're going to wrap it up. I've been on my grind, and now it's my time. Hard work, gonna get me to the top. I don't pay no mind if it ain't about mine. I hope you don't think I'm going to stop. I do believe you heard the differences. Try to apply this to a lot of your mixes. Get your practice on so that way you can have mixes that look like this where you have a lot of tracks, but you make the work easy because you're subbing them. Now, when you sub them, try to make the subbing make sense. For instance, I have my hook. I have the lead, the doubles going into one hook, and I have the backgrounds going into another sub. You could do the same thing with the uh, verses. You could have the lead vocalist by itself, and whatever layers they have on that, you can have that in another submix. So that way, the lead vocal could have his own good feeling, and you could, you know, manipulate the backgrounds of the doubles within the lead vocals so it could give you a whole new feeling. But with that, we're going to wrap it up. Happy mixing. Peace.